Hello and welcome back. First and foremost, thanks a zillion to Dylan Wager and Jorge Gonzalez for their support. It was very appreciated, guys. From version 5.30 in Reaper, it's possible to display the lyrics of the songs on a screen. This is useful for singers in the recording studio and for karaoke as well. Today's video is dedicated to studio use case. We will look at four similar methods, two of which use Reaper's web winter freeze. The pros and the cons of each one, so you can make your choices. Reaper is unique also for this. This method doesn't need any external script. Options, preferences, or Ctrl and P on PC, a common and P on Mac. Ctrl Ask Web Add. From the Control Surface Settings drop down menu, choose Web Browser Interface. Assign a value to the port. I choose for 8081 since the default 8080 is for something else. In default interface, select lyrics.html. It's also possible to assign a username and password separated by columns. However, they're optional. Check the use rc.reaper.fm box in order to use this name in the browser instead of the IP number. It's easy to remember. In the ID field, you can write both numbers and letters or combinations of them. I just write lyrics, apply settings, copy the generated URL and click OK. By connecting the number IP column, the port number, you get the user interface, but having given a name rc.reaper.fm slash lyrics, to see it in the preferences window, just click OK and then reopen the window. The previously copied URL is pasted into the browser and you will reach the web page with the text. The browser can be that of a cell phone or a tablet or that of the production computer and projecting the page on the screen in the recording room. When you reach the page, a link is prompted. Just click on this link to access the lyrics after having given login and password, which I repeat are optional. Add a track. Double click or right key insert new track or Ctrl and T on PC and Command T on Mac and put it as track 1. Now select the whole song by holding down Shift and double click. Create a MIDI item, insert new MIDI item or actions, show actions list, new MIDI item, which you can assign it to a button or a contextual menu with a right click. Actions, show action list, import track lyrics.lua, which you can assign it to a button or a, to a contextual menu. But the drop down menu, select the track where lyrics should be typed in. Place the playhead where you want the text to begin, and the measure is highlighted in bold. Select how many bits you want the text to last. Edit. Tap the sentences of the text. Commit. Here they are on the screen. With export lyrics you export them to a text file, with import you import from a text file. This makes it easier to write the text by being able to do it well in advance during pre-production in a very simple text file. The text file must be made up as follows. One measure per line, separate by spaces or tabs, you can select the file format. This makes the operations much easier. Let's see the pros. Immediate use, doesn't require external scripts. It uses web interface, smartphones and tablets are ok. Current text is highlighted in bold. The text that follows the one currently sung is visible. Protected by login and password, which are optional. 
easily editable and customizable HTML page. Now the counts. Doesn't support accents and non-standard characters. There is not any indication of recording in progress, therefore, for instance, punch in and punch out are not marked. The fonts are small, but it's not a big deal as the HTML page is customizable, so it's up to you to customize it. It works only with MIDI type items. It has some never soft bug. Unfortunately, some bugs such as the one concerning accents and the four UTF-8 characters have not been yet solved after several years. These are inherent problems with the functions and software libraries used. The amount of work required for the resolution is such that it's not justified given the little use made of these features and given the presence of valid alternatives which we will see in this tutorial. The import-export of text files is also a hassle. The operation is not always successful. Also in this case, there are some bugs not yet solved. However, it's not said that this effort will not be made in the future, perhaps in the face of other features that will benefit. Create a region for each sentence by selecting the time you want the sentence to appear. Right-click Create region from selection or Shift and R on both PC and Mac. Holding down Shift, double click on the region, type the sentences in the title field. Extensions, Notes, click on the lock. From the drop-down menu, choose Region Names. When playing back, when the region is crossed by the playhead, the container phrase is shown. The same is true when using markers and combinations of markers and regions. I delete a region, assigning its name to a marker. Drop down and choose Marker Names. Play. It reads the marker name only. Drop down, marker slash region names, and read them both. Maximize the window to cover the screen area and drag the window onto the screen placed on the take room. Here are some pros. Immediate use. Supports special characters. The text is well highlighted. It doesn't require special settings other than the installation of SWS, which, in any case, should always be done when installing Reaper. It's free. Doesn't require external scripts. It works with both markers and regions. And here are some cons. No web interface, hence it can't be linked to smartphone or tablet. It needs a dedicated monitor in the take room, directly connected to the production computer. The text is not importable or exportable from a text file that could be made in pre-production. There is no indication of recording in progress. The four punch in and punch out are not highlighted. The text that follows the one currently sung is missing. Overlaps of regions don't solve the previous issue. Install the XRAM Repack repository or library. The link below in the description. If you don't know how to import a Repack repository or library, above in the description the tutorial that illustrates it. Extensions, Repack, Browse Packages, filter with XRAM Convert, and install the following three packages Lyrics Web Interface. Convert Lyrics Track Items Notes Convert Region Names For each one, hover them, right-click, Install, Apply, OK. The packages are installed. Options, Preferences or Ctrl and P on PC and Common and P on Mac. Ctrl Ask Web 
add control surface mode web browser interface port i use the 8085 username and password if you want it default interface xram lyrics.html use rc.reaper.fm id i write region you write what you want apply settings copy the access url i repeat the operations twice assigning a different port naming the second instance item since with the script you can use both regions and items of lyrics of your choice create a new track double click or right key insert new track or ctrl t on pc a command t on mac you must call it lyrics because this is what the scripts are looking for i bring it as first let's look at an example with the use of regions select the starting point of the duration time of each sentence right click create region from selection or shift and air on PC and on Mac. On both PC and Mac, hold shift down and double click on each region. Type or paste the sentences of the text. If you want, you can add the phrase that follows the singing one using the HTML command BR. In the same way, you can highlight the singing phrase using HTML codes and leave the next one neutral for more understandings. OK. Actions. Show action list. Convert region name for dedicated web browser. Run. The status turns on. Be sure to check that the other script is off. I remind you that you can assign this function to toggle mode to any button or menu. Play. The browser displays the text when the play hat intercepts the region that contains it. The sentence that will follow is placed in a new line, and the transport status is shown. Play green, record red, pause yellow. If you have SWS installed, it's possible to load a subtitle file in RCRT format into the region. Using items. Select the beginning and duration of the item relating to a sentence. Insert Empty item or new MIDI item. I created three items. I have assigned the functions to the right-click context menu. Right-click Item settings Item notes or click on the speech bubble. Type in the sentence to be sung and possibly also the one that follows it. In the following item, the phrase to be sung, which in the previous one was the one that followed, and so on. Play, this is the result. Important, XRAM scripts must be used one at a time. This means, when one is active, the others need not to be otherwise they conflict with each other. Here the pros. Immediate use, uses web interface, protected by login and password, optional, easily editable and customizable HTML page, supports accents, the text is well highlighted, supports HTML tagging. The status of the project is indicated by a colored horizontal bar. The singer knows when he is recording and when not. Punch in and punch out highlighted. It doesn't require special settings except for the installation of the script via Repack, a triviality. Works with both items, both blank and MIDI, and regions. Work with subtitle, SRT files, if SWS is installed. And here the cons. The text following the one currently sung is missing. It's not serious, as it is possible to insert it with the workaround we have seen, directly writing the sentence with HTML code for greater immediacy. Thanks, XRM. Excellent job. A special script created by Hector Carlson, known as HIDA, should be used. First of all, the HIDA manager must be installed. The link in the description below. 
in Reaper, Options, Show Reaper Resource Path in Explorer Finder, Drag the Scripts folder and the Data folder, Restart Reaper, Actions, Action List, Filter with HIDA and find the manager script that you will assign to a button in a toolbar or in a context on menu. Start HIDA Manager, search for Note Reader and install it. There is also the VIP version which has karaoke, but it's not free. However, it's for a slightly more karaoke-oriented use, as it contains syllabic divisions and progressive underscore that goes on through the sentence. In Studio, the singer knows what to do. This function is not essential, and you can use the free version that I will show you here. Select the beginning and the duration of the item concerning a sentence. Insert Empty item or new MIDI item I create three items. They must always be consecutive for optimal operation. Right click Item settings Item notes or click on the speech bubble. Type or paste the sentence to be sung. OK. Audio items can also be used, but it's always better to use items and tracks dedicated to the text. After that, Actions, Action List, Filter Hida Notes and choose Hida Notes Reader. Lua. Right click, Set Track to Read from the selected track, Play, you notice the progress bar, the text to be sung and the text to be sung and which is in the next item is fading in. The text color is the one assigned to the item, and so on. Recording. The background turns red, indicating to the singer that you are recording. Right key. Options. You can enable or disable some feature. The progress bar has two available settings. The text color and background can be selected at will from the color of the item. Zoom the window to full screen and place it on the screen in the microphone room where it will be displayed to the singer. Here the pros, immediate use, the current text is well highlighted, the text following the one currently singing is displayed, supports accents, project status is indicated by a colored horizontal bar, the singer knows when he is on recording and when it's not, punch in and punch out highlighted, work with both empty and midi items, progress bar. And here the counts cannot be used via the web interface, therefore no Wi-Fi, the text is not importable or exportable from a pre-production prepared file. Many of the cons are easily undoable through the use of other scripts. For example, they allow text entry from a ST file prepared in pre-production, or even further developments that will lead to improved scripts by the introduction of new features. However, they will only do so if there is a high number of requests directly in the Caucus forum. What's your favorite method from those seen? Say it in the comments below. Was it useful? Support my Patreon, starting from 5 euros per month, or pay me a beer. Here below is the links in the description. That's all. Thanks for watching.